Welcome back. Mastering the art of bull riding. The professional bull riders global cup kicks off in November with five competing countries, each hosting events. The United States, Australia, Brazil, Canada, and Mexico, each competing. Our next guest was recently named to the United States team. Joining us right now is professional bull rider, Matt Triplett. Matt, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having Congratulations. me. Congratulations. This is a huge accomplishment. How big of an accomplishment is, is this for you, representing the country that you love? Oh, it's so huge. Uh, I'm, I'm so privileged to represent the U.S. of A. because, uh, you know, we get to go against five different countries, and it, it's huge, and hopefully we can bring back the, the trophy back to the States. That'd be awesome. It's, it's like the equivalent of the Olympics or the World Cup, isn't it? It is, yes. So it's going to be super fun. I'm excited. What do you think about when you get on this enormous beast and it's about to go through? <laughs> I don't want to know that. I'm a little crazy. No, I'm just kidding. You know, I, I get a little nervous, uh, but uh, I think that's just due to putting so much pressure on myself because I want to succeed so much. Well, that's one of the things. I've gone to bull riding a lot over the years, particularly here at Madison Square Garden. And that's one thing that until people actually go and see you guys, the animals, the bulls are the athletes too. Oh, tremendously. The, the that, bulls. And there is that sense of like, it's like man versus beast and athlete versus athlete. That's incredible. And is it like a horse? Like you have your own horse, you know, you have your own bull that you've been working with for a no, while. No, we, no, it's always a we different have, bull. We, yeah, we have stock contractors no. that, that raise these bulls, treat them like family, you know, they wake up before they eat, they're feeding these bulls just because they're worth so much money. And just like you said, they're athletes just like us. And they're such a big part of our uh, show that uh, they take care of them. And like I said uh, before uh, to many people is if we even scratch these bulls, it's teeny bit, uh, we get fined tremendously, and we could even get kicked off tour, so oh we treat God. these bulls with respect, they're and, wow. you know, just like they're, they're our own. They're so. extremely valuable. They're yeah. extremely, yeah. extremely valuable. Do you, I think we're watching videotape, you, you ride with a helmet? I do. You know, um, with our sport, if we're sitting on the sideline, if we're hurt, we don't get paid. Mm -hmm. So I try to wear things that, you know, prevent me from sitting on the sidelines. So, yes, I think it's very smart to wear helmets. There are a few riders who don't. Though. There are, Still. yeah. Yep. What was the most exciting ride or, or the scariest? Uh, you know, I'd have to say the ex most exciting ride for me is at the World Finals. I was 92 and a half on one of the bulls that no one really rides. And the, the scariest ride was at the finals when I had to, uh, you know, I hurt my elbow and had to get Tommy John surgery. So, it's, it's, yeah, it was pretty hard. That's incredible. How much money can you make from bull riding? Um, you know, each event you can win 40000 the year-end guy wins a million, and usually if you're in the top ten, you can probably usually make about half a million, so it's not too bad. Wow. The, the PBO, when's the championship, what time of the year is championship? Uh, November, the it's like the first Is season. it in Vegas every it year? It is, yep. So go, you got to go to Vegas and go yeah. to the PBR finals. So fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you have an event this weekend? We do, yeah. it's, uh, it's uh, in uh, Long Island at uh, NASA, uh, Coliseum, so it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, you know, we don't, this is not a sport that we look at a lot. Um, we talk about sports here all the time, and recently we've been talking about the NFL anthem protests. It, it, that hasn't been an issue, right, in terms of patriotism and oh no not at all you know uh, I like to pay respect to the men and women who have uh, given their lives and you know spent so much time fighting for our freedom so it's a it's a big part for us in the PBR to you know stand up and pay tribute to the men and women who've uh, sacrificed their life and spent so much time away from their families just so I can wake up every morning doing what I love and you know being a free American hey, I've been to, I've Good been and, got, and stood behind the shoots as uh, <laughs> behind where you, they uh, load the bulls in, and, and you guys get on and let you let you loose. I mean, it's it is just an absolute blast. It is. And yeah. so, so take us behind that. Take us behind. You're, you're behind the before you're coming out. You're about to get on the ball. What's going through your mind? <laughs> you know, oh the, the crazy God. thing about bull riding is it's such <laughs> fast pace and reaction time that you really can't let things go through your mind. You know, I train and prepare throughout the week. That way, I'm not thinking about it. Because if you think that this bull's going left, well, he's going to go right. And how do you train? Yeah, what is the train? I get on, a, I have a buck in a stationary barrel that just goes up and down, and so I can work on my moves and everything I need to do. And I'll get on practice bowls every once in a while, do a lot of hot yoga, spend a lot of time in the gym, just whatever it takes. Hot yoga. Which I do. A lot of core workouts. So you yes, have to do yeah, a lot of core. Make sure you have but, balance. And, I mean, the injuries that some of you guys sustain are just astonishing. I remember we were talking about pistol, when Pistol Robinson broke both oh, of his yeah. legs at Madison Square Garden. Oh my God. That was probably about five years ago. It was, it was yeah, it was a bad 
bad accident for sure. Are How there any one? protections? Uh, yeah, what kind of I mean, you talked well, about the helmet. Well, you had the helmet. <laughs> we got a helmet and we got this little uh, foam pad vest, and that's about it. <laughs> and and when you fall, uh, are, are you afraid that the bull's going to come and sort of just <laughs> come at you again when, when you're on the ground? Well, you know, after eight seconds, that's the thing. We, our job's not done. We have to get away. But you got to get away. Yeah, we have the be three best bullfighters in the world that protect us. That's their job is to take the hit so we can keep on going each and every weekend. How much longevity awesome. is there in a career like this? Uh, I'd have to say 10 to 15 years, uh, just depending on how well you take care of your body and just, I mean, if you get hurt to where you can't ride no more, you just, that's what happens. So it just depends on what happens. And you got into the business because your father was a bull rider. Oh yeah, you know, I looked up to my dad a lot and uh, I got to watch him ride and so it was so cool watching my hero and being able to follow in his footprint, so it was awesome. How great. Congratulations. Matt, great to have you on the show. Hey, thanks for having Thank me, Thank you guys. so much. Matt Triplett, good luck this weekend. Thank you. We'll be watching that.